in terms of their applications uh, in different um, life, uh, uh, real life scenarios? Yeah, so the distinction that I'm aware of is between policy function based and value based function and or critic, um, actor critic. Do you mean those? Yeah, so maybe maybe we can discuss value based, policy based, or model based um, uh, methods and how they're different. So I discussed how a policy gradient approach might work, right? This is what I talked about earlier. And the value function approach is quite different, really. For people who have come across the optimal control literature, the agent is trying to optimize a type of Bellman equation. This is very technical. You might not know this because you might not have come across this, right? But at each time step, so the agent takes some action or some set of actions, and then, then it is rewarded, and then it calculates the value of having taken this action. It criticizes it in a way, if you will. And this is a bit difficult to explain well uh, if you haven't encountered it, and if, you know, without getting into equations. But it is otherwise in practice also limited to a rather small action and state space. And, and thus, it's not as important. An interesting method, though, is a hybrid version. It's, it's the merging of policy gradient and value function based uh, approaches to arrive at an actor critic algorithm. This requires two neural networks known as the actor and the critic. The actor optimizes the policy gradient as before, as we discussed before, the policy gradient optimization. And then the critic reports back what value it thinks an action produced. And it then, and then um, it itself is rewarded by how far it was off from the actual value that was realized. And then uh, the actor then gets the feedback from the critic to, to adjust uh, the probabilities of taking a similar action in the future. And with, with these two networks, you can take the advantage of both of the uh, of the benefits of both the policy gradient and the value function approach, if that makes sense. 